solely missed by England in the Ashes, Ben Stokes' competitive streak, leadership and cricket nous is proving a boon at his current team. Stokes' arrival at New Zealand domestic outfit Canterbury three weeks ago was met with feverish interest and plenty of condemnation. Many questioned the merits of hastily signing the all-rounder, who continues to sweat on a verdict from UK prosecutors regarding his role in a Bristol brawl that left another man with a fractured eye socket. Canterbury coach Gary Stead, who remains unsure how much longer Stokes will be based in his country of birth, has been thoroughly impressed with the conduct and cricket skills of England's vice-captain but also the impact he's had on young teammates. He's brought that knowledge and experience of being in important matches and just been a bit of a calming influence out in the middle, Stead said. You can tell he loves being in a battle on the field. That competitive approach will hopefully rub off on some of our players. He doest over speak or anything but when he talks, people listen. He is not shy of chiming in when we're discussing tactics. He has got a very good cricket brain. He has started to develop some friendships with some of our guys as well. It's been really positive. Uncertainty surrounds Stokes' potential return date for England. The 26-year-old was provisionally named in the tourists' ODI squad for the series that follows the Ashes starting January the 14th in Melbourne. However, England's cricket board won't settle on Stokes' punishment until UK prosecutors decide whether to charge him. We still don't know a date when he will leave, Stead said. I am sure he was looking at it, the ashes. I know he'll be disappointed for England. Stead has handed Stokes extra responsibility during New Zealand's domestic one-day and 2020 competitions asking him to open the bowling and bat at no four. The game-breaking all-rounder, who was sold for dollars a 2.8 million in last year's Indian Premier League auction, struggled early on in his New Zealand stint but struck form with a match-winning 93 during a 2020 last week. He's had five matches for us now. It looks like he's getting better and better, Stead said. He's batting a little bit higher than he normally would, but we can grow his experiences and that's good for him in the long run. Batting, bowling, fielding, and even at training, he is going full tilt. He is not holding back at all. Canterbury's campaign continues on Friday with a 2-0 against Central Districts. AAP